Hey everyone, that's it. We have had the first Grand Prix of the Formula One season and it was good. It was very good. I was in Texas racing Speedway, so I watched a bit before the race and then watched the other bit after the race. I mean, let, let me know again, please let me know what you think about the new rules, about the new Formula One season. What do you want to see more? What do you want to speak about? Uh, subscribe, like, as always, please. Uh, really happy to see that uh, so many of you are watching those videos. I'm having a lot of fun doing it, so hopefully you are enjoying watching them. Five points I want to talk about. Number one, Ferrari. Ferrari is back, yes, and that's so good for everyone. For Formula One, for for fans, for Ferrari fans, obviously the Tifosi, uh, but Ferrari is the most recognizable name in motorsport. And seeing Ferrari fighting at the front on a regular basis, on a good race, finishing first and second, that was amazing. Almost 1,000 days, 910 if I'm not mistaken, since the last Ferrari win. So that's, uh, that's really, really good. Number two, Red Bull fastest, but Red Bull didn't finish the race. To finish first, first you need to finish. So Red Bull, definitely a really good car, really good, really good fight on track between Max and Charles. It was really nice to see. I'm really hopeful that those, those new Formula One, those new rules are gonna be great. Yeah, let's see, let's see how that plays out. But Red Bull has to finish the race to score points. And they have the fastest car right now, so you don't really want to lose too many points when you have the fastest car. Number three, number three, Mercedes. Mercedes very lucky Mercedes out of pace tough weekend but Mercedes third and fourth different strategy on tires at the beginning putting the hard on Mercedes such a great team that even when they have a, a very hard week weekend they they up there definitely a lot of work to do on the Mercedes side but I'm not too worried I know they're gonna come back that's uh, that's for sure Jeddah is only a week away so it may be tricky for them to to be good in Jeddah because you know it, it's a, such a short, short turnaround but I'm definitely sure they're gonna have update they're gonna have more understanding it's going to be a different track as well. You have to know that Bahrain is very specific. Bahrain is always good for racing. Bahrain is a very abrasive tarmac, high target degradation, very easy to put temperature into the tires, but Bahrain is, is very specific. So let's say in Jeddah, it's going to be a different track, different type. Mercedes may be stronger, but definitely Mercedes got some work to do. Haas Formula One, uh, I want to talk more about Kevin Magnussen. Kevin Magnussen, kind of a phoenix, right? Kevin Magnussen finishing almost last in the last race in Formula One back in 2020, and coming back to Formula One, qualifying seven, finishes fifth in the race. Really happy for Kevin, he deserves it. It shows you how much the car can do in Formula One, and Kevin was always a super driver. I was his teammate, and I can tell you he was very fast. He came to himself last year, raced uh, in DPI. He was very competitive back in Formula One, and top five. So Haas has got a good car. Can they keep the development going? That's gonna be the question. The last few years, definitely the Haas always started well the season, but then dropped back. They starting good, hopefully they're not dropping back. Uh, Mick Schumacher, he's got a great teammate now. He can learn from Kevin, can take the experience. You know, when there were two rookies last year, it was almost impossible for any of them to, to improve. But no, Mick Schumacher next to Kevin, he has got a good benchmark, you know, what uh, he can watch what Kevin is doing and he can improve a lot. So let's see what Haas can do, but definitely nice to see Kevin in the top five. Number five is McLaren. McLaren, tough one. McLaren, tough one. The fastest in Barcelona in wind testing, and I really thought they looked good. And you got the Bahrain, and they had a lot of brake cooling issue, and in the race, they were just nowhere. So let's see what they can fight back. We've seen McLaren in the past already struggling at the beginning of the season and coming back, but they have to make big steps. They have to make big steps and big steps fast. You know, the brake cooling is something that can really impart, uh, really hurt you, your performance. We've had that in the house in 2020, uh, 2019, 2020, we were really struggling with brake cooling, and, and that's something you need to get on top of. If not, you know, you can go racing. You can go racing if after the first lap of the race, you're Already have to do lifting course, meaning lifting, lifting the throttle two, three, four hundred meters before the corner and just letting the car roll so you don't put too much energy in the brake. So let's see what my client can do. Uh, I've got faith in Andreas Seidel, been winning everywhere I want, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna, they're gonna bounce back. And I like to get the beginning of the video. I say five points. I just want to bring it a six uh, quickly. Um, Zhu, the Chinese driver, first race, one point. That's really good. Uh, that's really good. First race, first point. You know, in Formula One, it's it's a big benchmark for you to score your first point and be up there with the driver that have been scoring points. So Alfa Romeo did a good job, but Volte Bottas really really nice weekend. Zhu also, you know, learning a little bit, not far from Bottas, but not quite the same pace you which you would expect. But he had a good fight on track with Hamilton. Uh, which was great to see, but uh, really good for him and good for Alfa Romeo to be to be the points. So I think let's let's wait a couple more races to know how 
good those new cars are because as I say Bahrain is, is a really good track for overtaking racing and so on remember the 2014 race between the two Mercedes that was outstanding so I just want to wait you know um, a couple more races before we, we can say that the new rules are working 100% well but right now we've got a good hint that it's going in the right direction there's going to be a lot of development in the car who is going to do the best who is going to be you know going a little bit backwards I think we're on for a really good season I'm excited I'm excited to watch Jeddah next week and I hope you are too so I'll see you after Jeddah and we talk about a new race a different type and remember last year it was quite something Thank you.